Hello everyone. Uh, this time around I'm going to talk about self-driving cars again. Now this comes up uh, in response to the uh, Tempe, Arizona incident between an Uber autonomous vehicle and a pedestrian crossing a street, uh, pushing a bicycle as I understand it. Now there's a lot of uh, hand-wringing about this. Uh, a lot of people are saying, well obviously this proves that self-driving cars are not safe and that they never will be and uh, we need to you know have stringent rules and so on and so forth and uh, of course the naysayers are really running with it and, uh, and of course the fact that uber's involved is also attracting all of the anti-uber sentiments and so on and so forth however the dash cam video of the incident has been released at least up to just prior to the impact and that video uh, does uh, suggest that the pedestrian was almost certainly the cause of the accident. Uh, what the video shows, and you can dig up the video and watch for yourself, what the video shows is the pedestrian crossing a street uh, a little bit into a, a left turn bay uh, in a dimly lit area between uh, uh, streetlights and uh, clearly not paying attention to what is around her. Uh, the uh, autonomous vehicle has its headlights on. You can see that by the light pattern on the road. Uh, the headlights were on, so the vehicle was definitely visible. Uh, whether it could be heard or not, it was definitely visible. So had the pedestrian bothered to look, uh, look for traffic before stepping out into the uh, street, there's a really good chance that the collision would never have happened because the pedestrian would have had the ability to go, oh, well, I'm just going to wait for that vehicle to go by before I step into the, in, in front of it. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely uh, a factor there. Uh, so I, I would say the pedestrian is completely at fault. Uh, crossing where there wasn't a crosswalk, apparently doing it where it, the absolutely best place not to be seen, uh, I, I do actually think that uh, there should be no blame attached to the uh, Uber vehicle as a result of this particular collision. That's not to say that I think the Uber vehicle uh, was functioning correctly. Uh, the video does not show any evidence that the brakes were applied to the, uh, you know, when the pedestrian becomes visible. And I would have thought that the proximity uh, sensors or whatever the uh, vehicle is using uh, would, uh, would have uh, noticed something directly ahead of it and applied the brakes. That reaction time should have been much more uh, rapid than a human driver's reaction. And as a result, we should have seen some evidence of slowing down in the video. Now, I didn't detect any, but maybe a more detailed analysis of the video might. Uh, so I think there was definitely something malfunctioning there, but it's not clear what that might have been. But that doesn't change the fact that the pedestrian was somewhere they shouldn't have been. So at the very least, if this had been a human driver, then there might be a charge of uh, driving without due care and attention, uh, which... Uh, Sure, that's uh, a failure on the driver's part, that, but that does not make them at fault for the accident, right? Now, uh, these uh, self-driving vehicles would be fairly identifiable by the hardware uh, on them. I have a picture uh, that I've seen of what appears to be the same, what purports to be the same model of vehicle, uh, with a similar control system, has a bunch of hardware on the uh, roof, uh, which is, I guess, the sensor package. Uh, so it would be very easily identifiable, uh, f uh, you know, if, as it was coming down the street in the light, right? Uh, so, uh, you know, I hate to stir up uh, conspiracy theories here, but I think there's a non-zero chance that this was a deliberate act on the part of the pedestrian. Uh, I think the pedestrian was uh, actually attempting to, uh, well, cause trouble for Uber uh, and possibly self-driving cars. Uh, is the the because the the location it occurred, the way it's all sets up, it's an absolute perfect storm 
to cause to to uh, basically get hit by a car. Uh, the the person was uh, in the shadow uh, and uh, appeared apparently out of nowhere directly in front of the vehicle, which then uh, slammed into her. I, I do seriously wonder if just maybe, just maybe, uh, the pedestrian was banking on the safety systems, uh, the proximity uh, braking system, to slow the vehicle down enough that they didn't get killed. And that system failed, and therefore it backfired. Like I do, do wonder if that wasn't uh, part of the intent here. Now, let, let's be honest, that's not likely the case. Uh, but, you know, just the way it sets up and with this sheer amount of anti-Uber sentiment out there and all, all of the irrational fear of autonomous vehicles out there, it wouldn't surprise me if this was a setup that went wrong. Now, let's be honest. I don't actually think that's the case, but maybe it is. But either way, uh it seems clear that some system on the, that autonomous vehicle itself and the control system or in the sensors failed. Uh, and that means that uh, Uber definitely has some investigating to do and they definitely need to improve their uh, system quite a lot. Uh, there's a definite problem there because it should have been breaking hard as soon as something was directly in front of it. Uh, is it would have known how far away it was. It would have known it had to brake hard. So unless the brakes had been sabotaged, and I think we would have heard about that if they had been by now, or the sensors were sabotaged, which we wouldn't necessarily know yet, or the control system was sabotaged, which we also wouldn't necessarily know yet, uh, there's obviously a problem in their implementation somewhere. So... Uh, something went wrong, something confused it, it got stuck, something crashed, maybe. Or there's a possibility that the human driver did something dumb, like the, the guy that was actually behind the wheel but not really paying attention. You can see that in the uh, video released as well. Uh, but the fact that he didn't know, notice anything until what appears to be the last minute would suggest that... Uh, he didn't actually interfere or intervene in the accident, so he was probably not the cause or even some some uh, factor that exacerbated it. So anyway, what should we do in these situations? Well, we obviously need to investigate them, and there is an investigation ongoing. Uh, we need to identify the ultimate cause. In this case, I think it's pretty clear was the pedestrian. And we need to identify any aggravating factors and we need to identify anything that could be done to make the situation less deadly in the future. And the improvements for the future aspect of it don't necessarily mean that somebody should be charged uh, or that somebody should take some of the responsibility for the accident. Instead, uh, we need to figure out why didn't the LIDAR see this? And if it did, why didn't the control system act on it? Uh, why didn't the uh, uh, forward-facing sensors detect the uh, obstacle and apply the brakes hard? Uh, you know, wh why, why didn't uh, uh, any number of things happen? And a lot of this is for Uber to answer. Uh, but we certainly can't just say, well, it's an autonomous vehicle, so it, it should, it's at fault because it should have done better. Well, no. Uh, yeah, it should have done better. Uh, it should have better sensors than humans do. But we can't be saying, oh, well, it, it has better sensors, so uh, pedestrians stepping out into the uh, street in front of a moving vehicle are not at fault for their own demise. Now, we can't be doing that. Uh, that's taking us too far into the uh, nobody has any personal responsibility for their own safety direction. So let's let's actually not do that. Uh, let's do this right. Let's look at things carefully and where people do stupid things, hold them accountable, no matter what other parties or, or things or whatever are in, involved. Uh, let's uh, let's step back on our uh, hysteria about autonomous vehicles and demanding that they somehow make moral judgments in an accident situation and all sorts of ludicrous nonsense like that 
Now let's step back from that and let's just say, let's get the autonomous vehicles to the point where they're at least on par with humans. Are they as good as humans behind the wheel on average? If so, then we should allow them and then deal with them under the existing laws, uh, you know, rules of the road. And then as time goes on, as it's demonstrated that we can make safer uh, uh, autonomous control systems that behave better than humans, then we can start saying, well, this autonomous system needs to have this and that and the other thing. Same thing we've been doing with the uh, increasing, uh, increasingly stringent safety regulations for human-controlled vehicles. We need to keep doing what we've been doing on that front, because the autonomous control systems that function properly are going to be an ultimate safety system, because they're not... If they're functioning correctly, they're not going to get bored. They're not going to fall asleep. They're not going to end up uh, having their attention wander or anything like that. And that's exactly what we need. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess I should uh, just sum up here. Uh, my conclusion uh, in this case, after watching the admittedly short video, is that in the Tempe, Arizona incident, the pedestrian caused the accident. But I also do agree some with the people that say that the uh, Uber vehicle did not behave quite correctly the way it should have. So there was definitely an issue there, but it did not cause the crash. And simply because of that, I don't think there should be any legal liability in this case for either the human in the driver's seat or Uber unless it can be demonstrated that they deliberately messed with the vehicle. However, it would be reasonable for Uber's uh, uh, permits to operate these vehicles to be examined to make sure that they are taking reasonable safety precautions. And it, it might even be reasonable to say, hey, uh, we want you to uh, make sure that your uh, safety systems are working properly uh, because it's fairly clear here that at least uh, an emergency braking system would have helped. So, yeah, there's a lot of things uh, that the Uber vehicle probably got wrong and things that went wrong uh, on Uber's part. But causing the accident wasn't one of them. That's, that's my point. Uh, so we can't use this as an excuse to ban all autonomous vehicles because the autonomous vehicle here did not cause the crash. That's really what it comes down to. Anyway, uh, that's enough rambling on this uh, topic for today. So I'm going to leave off here with a mention of my Patreon. If you want to support the channel, go ahead to uh, patreon.com slash lostwizard. If you, if you don't want to support the channel, that's fine too. And of course, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, all that business. And if you've watched this far, or listened in this case, thanks for watching.